What's up everybody, my name is The Holy Apple and welcome to another Zer video. Starting off, Zer is on Nessus this week and he is on the Watch's Grave right next to this little tree thing again. His inventory is nothing special this week but he is selling Cold Heart, the Trace Rifle, so pick this up if you don't have it already. Moving over to the Armour Exotics, we have the Oath Keepers for the Hunters, which is a fairly average roll, not exactly anything spectacular. There is also the Ashen Wake for the Titans, which is a 64 roll, which is quite decent. And finally, there is the Astrocyte Verse for the Warlocks. Going over the weapons quickly, there isn't that many interesting rolls, but I am surprised to see the Swarm is in this. So if you don't have Swarm, I would highly recommend picking it up. It is a very good machine gun to have. But albeit this roll isn't exactly spectacular, but it's still a very good machine gun to use. In terms of rolls, however, the Honor's Edge that is actually here is a very good roll for what it is. So if you don't have a sword like this that does the uppercut swing, I would highly recommend getting this one as your starting one. And trying to find a better one as you go on from here. The armor this week is the Substitution Alloy Armor, but unfortunately the Hunters do not seem to have a very good roll this week. It is very average across the board. But this is a very different story for the Warlocks on the Titans. So the Warlocks have a 65 chest piece, which is a very average stat distribution across the board. So if you go for an average kind of build like what I do, this will be a very good starting point for you. Heading over to the Titans, there is a high stat resilience roll for the chest piece, but it is 57 total. So it is down to you if you want to be using this or not. The helmet is a 62 roll, which is a decent step up, but it is very high intellect roll with a total of 25 on intellect. And it also has a decent amount of recovery and mobility as well. And then finally, we have the leg armor, which is a 65 stat roll in total with a 25 strength roll. So this leg armor is absolutely perfect if you're building a strength build. And then finally, Hawk Moon is nothing special, but Dead Man's Tail is rolling with Vorpal again. So if you didn't manage to get this the first time round, now would be a very good opportunity to do so. But that's going to be everything from me. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.